name is Jacob Baykowski, and I am a support engineer here at Go Engineer. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Auto Trace feature in SolidWorks to take this <coughs> SolidWorks logo. This is a JPEG I got offline, and we're going to turn it into a 3D object. In order to use the Auto Trace feature, first we need to make sure that it's Add it in. So in order to do so, we go to Tools or the Add-ins or the drop-down next to Options, Add-ins, and make sure that Auto Trace is selected. In order to begin, I'm going to click New, New Part. I'm going to for this one. I'm going to sketch on the front plane. And then I'm going to click Tools. Sketch Tools, Sketch Picture, down at the bottom, in order to bring my picture into the sketch. I'm going to select SolidWorks logo. The supported formats are listed right here. And then I'm going to select Open. Once I've imported my picture in, I can make adjustments here. I can resize it. I can manually scale it in here for a certain or specific size, like 360 by say 115. Okay, I like that. Now I'm going to select user defined. I'm going to do my best to match the tolerance of the background to this so that Auto Trace can select the contours. So I'm going to slide the transparency all the way to 1. That looks good. I'm going to try and match the color tolerance. Okay. Now I'm going to select next. When I when we made the add-in earlier, it allowed for this next feature to be enabled. This brings up my trace property manager. To begin the trace, I'm going to select the rectangular to so the select the rectangular areas and then I'm going to drag and position the rectangle over the wording I want to be traced and then click begin trace as you can see it automatically inserts a spline that traces over the lettering and I can use the adjustments here to adjust how I want it to look maybe look a little better here Yeah, I like this. I'm going to play with the color tones. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and I am going to hit apply. As you can see, now I have a sketch. If I suppress the background image, you see that I almost have what I want, but not quite. See, I have some gaps here, so I have to clean this sketch up. So, I'm going to unsuppress this. I'm going to edit the sketch and just going to make some adjustments to my lines here. I like this to be here. I like to connect this. Bring this up. As you can see, the O's are missing the inside, so I'm going to sketch an ellipse here and fill that in. And 
And I'm going to make another one here because I'm not too keen on that little lip there. I'll delete parts I don't want. Same here with the R. I'm going to sketch. Adjust the spline handles. Mm -hmm. and continue filling out my sketch. Let's take a look. Do I like the rest? Yeah, I'm going to make a couple adjustments here. I'm okay with that, so now I'm going to exit the sketch, I'm going to suppress the background picture, take a look, and then I'm going to press, I'm going to uh, edit the sketch features, extrude, and I'll extrude 10 millimeters. Change the color to red, and voila. In this video, we learned how to use the auto trace feature in SOLIDWORKS to automatically trace splines over an imported image to make it easier to sketch and extrude into a three-dimensional image that you see here. Thank you.